today we will see how to create super innovation in civil 3d platform so first of all we should know what you mean by super innovation so in google if you are putting super innovation then we are getting this kind of definition like it is the transfer slope provided to counteract the effect of centrifugal force and reduce the tendency of the vehicle to overturn and skidding so super elevation is very important in uh, big curves in uh, roads so it will avoid uh, skidding the vehicles if you are not providing super elevation to the existing uh, roads or highways like whenever we are just uh, moving in a speed of 120 uh, when we are just uh, like uh, passing the curves then because of this uh, centrifugal force we will be like uh, getting some skid in our vehicle so the super elevation is important so it is something like uh, raising the pavement outer edge with respect to the inner edge okay so here we have some more examples in these images see for example this picture clearly showing like uh, how centrifugal force will be acting on a riding car car which is moving which will be having centrifugal force and it, when it is like moving in a curve or a highway which is having a, this kind of curves then essentially needed super elevation so without super elevation this car will skid so accidents may occur so to avoid accidents and to avoid like a, to be in a safer side we must provide super elevation for the existing roads okay so that's super elevation we can able to create in civil 3d how we will see now so here we have alignments so i'm just taking alignment creation tools so here i'm just clicking okay so with this tool we can able to create some alignment so here we have many options like a tangent tangent no curves i'm just going to take tangent tangent with curves so i'm just going to draw like this so just to put enter once you completed the alignment so we are getting this kind of alignment so this we can consider as a road center alignment okay so like this it will be visible with all the station points now we can able to create the super elevation for this so what we need to do means just to click this once you click so the green window will be appear in that you will be available with the alignment creation tools or alignment modification tools so in this modify section you can just go to super elevation uh, just to click this calculate or edit super elevation so once you select that option it will be asking you to select these options so alignment doesn't contain super elevation would you like to do create super elevation now so you need to select calculate super elevation now or we can also go for open the super elevation curve manager so first i'm just going to continue with the first option so once you click that option you will be available with this window here you can able to select which kind of road you are going to have so i'm just going to select like a uh, undivided planar road so this is like a type of road that you are going to have so where you can just go for pivot method we have many and uh, by default we will be having center baseline and we can able to select a high side location left or level or right edge like that so by default it will be like a left edge if i'm choosing undivided crown no need for all those things only pivot method needed so center baseline it's enough so i'm just going to continue with undivided crown so go for next so here you can able to put the lane width how much the lane width for example 3.2 3.6 meter and you will be having two lanes means like 7.2 meter like that i am going to put a number of lanes right two okay normal lane width i am going to put 7.2 so each of the lane will be taking 3.6 and uh, you can able to input the lane slope and everything here you can able to modify that also by default we will be having minus two percentage so i'm just going for next and here you can also modify the shoulder details so for any road we will be having shoulders also so we can just continue with the default items 1.5 meter shoulder and the shoulder slope also minus five percentage if you want to change you can just uh, input your details here or input your values here okay and we can also select the shoulder slope treatment we have this kind of options so by default we will continue now otherwise we can also select any of this so i'm just going for next see it is important here you can able to select the design criteria file so by default it will be selected you can check that also so these things you must have in your platform if you are not available with this the result won't be available so by default it will be selected and here you can able to select any one of this option we have as to four percentage six percentage like that i am just going to continue with the six percentage now and transition length table it is like a two lane right two lane road again i'm just going for attainment method only one method we have that we can select so this percentage on tangent for tangent curve percentage on spiral for spiral curve these things no need to change so if you have any spiral curves or tangent curves in your uh, roads it will automatically like calculate for you so here you also have curve smoothening 
if you want you can just select otherwise no need we already created curves so we can take at least automatically reserve overlap so to resolve the overlap so you can select this option so just to give finish okay immediately we can able to see that we got the super elevation and before that we must check the design speed also without design speed we can't able to uh, create a super elevation so for that you can just go for alignment property and here you can able to check the design speed so this alignment is having 100 km per hour okay if i'm just changing this to 120 and i'm just going to apply and click ok then we will be getting some exclamatory symbol because we have changed the design speed then what we can do means just to click this again you can just go for super elevation or you can just go for view tabular editor so you just select the alignment and after you can just go for calculate or edit super elevation again so now you can just go for recalculate because here the super elevation status showing as out of date because we just changed the design speed you can recalculate or you can able to change the design speed here itself so recalculate see now it is calculated based on the selections and we can just go for tabular editor or we can able to see that so once you close it see we can able to see that exclamatory gone so in that case you need to recalculate now i'm just going to see the tabulations so just go for view tabular editor so once you click that you will be available with this information like where we can able to see the events like they are telling some warning radius for curvature is less than the minimum allowable value this kind of things that we can able to like correct later then important here it is like a super elevation tabular editor where we can able to see the transition in region so when you click we can able to see the red color highlight here and then run out or run off so level crown see i'm just clicking level crown we can able to see the highlight in our working window and i'm just going for a transition out region so this is common for all the curves like curve one until curve four we totally have four curves in this alignment so when i'm clicking a curve four transition in region we can able to see here and we can able to see the values and everything see these values and if you want to change also we can able to change manually from here and once you once you complete everything you need to just put this tick mark okay now once you select this and then we can just go for create super elevation view see here we can able to go for displaying all the details that we want and you can just go for user specified range also otherwise we can able to uh, create the super relation view for the overall alignment from zero until the end of the alignment okay otherwise if i want some specific range for example so from here and from here until here so i'm just going for user specified range you can use this station picker okay i'm just clicking okay and you can select the super elevation view origin so this is what the super elevation that we are getting so you can regenerate so that the exclamatory will become smaller and that also you can able to modify manually once you modify it will go so that's why they mentioned like radius is not enough that it is like lesser so like this we can able to create super elevation for our alignment in civil 3d see here we have something now grips we can able to make use of the grip and once you do that you will be like uh, getting rid of the exclamatory so i am just selecting it and then i am just going to create a super relation view for the total alignment or overall alignment click ok so this is what we have so just to regenerate using re command so now we can able to make use of the grips over here so that we will be getting rid of the exclamatory so like this you can able to edit okay like this you can able to edit the same will be like updated in our alignment also see can where you can able to see now see here it is like closely spaced and here we have much uh, space in between so like this you can able to do the modifications manually also for super elevations and you also can go for right click so select the alignment right click and we can just go for uh, edit alignment labels 
and where you can able to go for so super elevation critical points and click ok so select the super elevation critical points and then you can select the label style critical point you can just add click ok so you can just apply and then click ok now we can able to see the super elevation critical points so with this detail kilometer details and everything where we are available with the super elevation So these are all the information we can able to get from civil 3D for super elevation.